Tag Day. Back at uh, Cape Palmy, I've just driven up the beach. It was uh, pretty busy. There's a few people up there uh, at the entry waiting for the uh, tide to drop a bit because it's pretty much got here right on high tide. And um, yeah, so I sort of just hung around for about half an hour to an hour and uh, let the tides down to 18. I was able to get up the beach in about 10 minutes, but she's pretty soft in spots. But uh, anyway, it's been a while since I've been up this way. It's about May, May, uh, yeah, about May, I think. We um, came up and did that inland track with young Jacob, but uh, it's been nearly 12 months since we've driven past that beach, so about halfway up the um, up the Cape at the moment. We're some of these headlands where the uh, oyster agricultural area is. So you're not allowed down there, and you're not allowed to uh, take any oysters. Didn't think the weather was going to be too good, but all that's just sort of blown that way. So this way, it's mostly clear skies except for that over there, but beautiful little rugged beach down there. It'd be pretty good to go down there. There's obviously tire tracks there, but I'm pretty sure that's the uh, park rangers and the uh, agricultural management people. But anyway, so all the beach campsites are pretty full. So um, we'll keep driving up, down the up and down the road and see where we can get ourselves a spot, do a bit of fishing. So just heading up to the uh, tip of Cape Palmerston now. Just went past Windmill Bay and um, that's packed out as well. So um, yeah, not sure, uh, not sure how I'm gonna go. It's just busy as, busiest I've ever seen and it's been the third time I've been here. And yeah, she's just packed. Well, here we are again at the top of uh, Cape Palmy. Bloody beautiful, eh? So I'm gonna try that beach down there. That's Clark Bay. Let's see if I can get some camping down there. But uh, I can see a few people walking along the beach there and there's a whole heap of tent set up on this closer side to it, so. I might be in luck down the other end, but uh, I'll have to go have a look. So I changed my mind, spun the car around. That's a bit better, a bit better lay. It blocks a bit of that wind coming through. So if I want to, if I don't uh, cook on the fire tonight, I can cook on the gas stove and uh, she won't get blown out. Hopefully that wind picks up a little bit though, because it's not quite enough at the moment. We get to set it up. Lunch is on, all set up. This is the outlook. Near and on low tide. This is a setup. It's a bit of weather up over the back there, but uh, I think it's blown straight over. Just a few sprinkles, so I've set that uh, that side wall up just for a little bit of extra shelter just in case it does uh, start belting down but it should be pretty right. So I'll do a spot of fishing once the tide turns a bit later. Might even get the metal detector out for just out in front of you. Where all the bits and pieces get gathered up between the rocks. Seems like a good spot to do it. But uh, yeah, for the moment. We're on the sausage sizzle for lunch. hasn't really been much chop out here for the last sort of couple of hours it's just had a constant drizzle so it's been a bit miserable but anyway it's eased up for the moment so I've just decided to go for a walk around this little point there's just heaps of washed up rubbish everywhere old tires and bottles and yeah it's a beautiful beach so I love these rugged beaches
is. Uh, feels like a bit of alley. Not quite sure what it's off. Yeah, pretty cool. It's hoping to find some jewelry or something, but that's got an odd shape to it. Anyway, double check the paw. Oh, Shovel. Yep, all good. And shovel it back in. All I'm finding is these bits of aluminium. Must be crushed up cans and. Oh! about all there is here. Our little bits of alley after alley after alley. But anyway, I'll make my way back to camp and keep going. This bloody weather is ridiculous. It's raining like every five minutes. And it's not even like, it's not heavy, it's just drizzle, but it's just bloody annoying. Tide's starting to come back in. God, it comes in quick. We'll best get on the light and a fire. The weather's not that bad that it won't blow, um, rain it out or anything. We used these briquettes last night. I got the fire going just with a bit of stuff that I found around campsite and then put some briquettes in and it's pretty much smothered it. So tonight, I'm gonna to try to put them at the bottom and then I'll just add them as I go. That should keep it nice and hot until I'm ready to cook dinner, which I generally have dinner pretty late when we're camping, until the, when, once it goes dark basically, I'll start thinking about dinner.
<clears throat> Same as last night, nothing too fancy. I had this steak marinating last night, so all day long. Should be beautiful. It was absolute hell last night. Absolute hell. Got a big storm. It's just ripped me awning straight out of the ground. Ripped the um, ripped the sidewall. All the Velcros came off the sidewall. Just got absolutely destroyed. The jet bunker held up all right. It's probably a bit too much rain for it though. But oh, Jesus. So pretty much no sleep. Kept pulling on here, even though it was tied down. Just too heavy for it. And then it kind of leaked in this seam here. I'm not sure if it was leaking though or whether it was um, condensation, but my God, that was the night from hell. Cannot believe it. Go up and down multiple times trying to sort shit out and oh and some clown rocks up here at about 2 30 in the morning just here starts revving his car just sitting there revving his car absolutely no reason just to be a quit but anyway so this adventure didn't go as planned i just checked the weather and um there's multiple storm fronts coming through, so there's a bit of a break at the moment. It's about five in the morning, so I'm just gonna get packed up and get out of here. So yeah, might end the video there. I might not. We'll see what happens on the way out. Absolutely bucketing down. Oh, there's a big skip. Bit of a shame really, had the whole day planned here. But uh, not if she's gonna be like this all day.